Hey folks, this is Martin Montan, House District 17 on the western side of Paulding County. Happy to be here with Austin Haygood and the crew to talk a little bit about our legislative session. Hey, I'm Joseph Gullett, representative for House District 19, the eastern and northern part of the county, uh, representing Ackworth, Hiram, Dallas, and a little bit of Powder Springs. Happy to be here as well. Yeah, so the legislative session in Georgia is 40 legislative days long. Uh, typically, it's about three months. Starts in early January, um, ends in, in late March, early April. This year ended in April on April second, um, and uh, the only constitutional thing we have to do is pass a balanced budget. Um, but we do a lot of other things as well. Um, we we passed some meaningful legislation this year um, that I'm proud to to have supported. Um, and uh, Martin, you want to go into a little detail about some of the legislation? We had several different bills. We had a. We have brand new voting machines that are coming out, and those will be available to the, uh, each voting precinct in each county at the uh, next election. So if your 2020 election, you'll be using the new ballot marking device type voting machines. Uh, they're currently working on that. And we're, and we're lucky too, because Pauley County's Deidre Holden, uh, she's our election supervisor here. Um, we're gonna be um, doing this for our municipal elections coming up in, um, at the end of this year, so we're really excited about that. That's right. And Deidre's an asset to our community. Absolutely. She she was a, a major player and a a it, she was a, a a major partner when it came to giving testimony uh, to the committee. Joseph is actually on that committee, and uh, she she was a great asset to us. Trying to figure out what are the best devices to use for voting. Uh, another large piece of legislation that came through uh, was the the heartbeat bill. We passed that piece of legislation. Uh, this legislative year. So it's on to the governor's desk. Um, what that does is, is protect the life of unborn children uh, up to uh, down to six weeks. So at the, at the first sign of a detectable heartbeat, uh, honored and humbled to be there to, to cast my vote. And, uh, and, and both signers on that bill, I believe. So. Absolutely. Yeah, both absolutely. signers on the bill and uh, honored and humbled to do it. We also uh, passed our budget. That's what we're constitutionally mandated to do. Uh, some really good things in that budget. In the amended budget this session, um, for last year, we passed the Aviation Academy funding in order for uh, us to have an Aviation Academy, Chattahoochee Tech is gonna have an Aviation Academy um, at the Silver Comet Field Airport. Um, we're extremely proud of that. I think uh, that's gonna be a, a great thing for Paulding County, a great thing for uh, Northwest Georgia, and overall a great thing for, for Georgia um, as a whole. We did raise teacher salaries, $3,000 this year. We're, we're very excited about that. Absolutely, and Governor Kemp also gave us uh, 35000 uh, per each high school in the state to, to add some added security measures, things like uh, security systems for front doors, uh, IP cameras so you can see who's entering, and, and just other security measures. And, and, and the great thing is we left it up to the school districts. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to let them decide where best they can spend that money. Uh, they know their schools, they know their districts the best, so we're going to allow them to make those decisions. Right, and, and what's awesome about that is, is that there's some brand new schools, and they already have these, these increased security, uh, school security measures, um, whereas we might have some older schools who need more funding, and, and that, can, that can go over to that, so that's, that's great. It's just an awesome experience. I think uh, we're brand new to the, to the system down there. We're brand, brand new to um, understanding how things work. Um, and you're really at awe. Uh, I was at awe the entire, entire session just to be uh, at the seat at my desk. Um, it's just an incredible honor. And I think every day that you're, that you're sitting there, um, seeing your name on the board is just, uh, you're kind of in shock and awe and, and just so appreciative and humbled to be there. Something else that impressed upon me is that when I'm in the, when I'm in the well, or when I'm talking from my desk, or when I'm just simply sitting there, I, as Representative Gullett said, you recognize that you're representing households across your district, that people are having family discussions, that they may be talking over dinner about the issues that are right before you. One of the rich traditions we have as freshman legislators is that when you pass your first piece of legislation, uh, you get a fish. I'm not exactly sure. Um, how far back that tradition goes, but it used to be a real fish from what I hear. Um, now it's obviously a stuffed fish, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of excitement. You take a lot of pictures with the fish, and uh, you know you actually accomplished uh, your first bill passing when you get it. And this is the fish, actually. I was the last freshman of the freshmen who passed any legislation to, uh, to get one out of the well. So when you get one out of the well, like I said, you get the fish. 
So I'm going to hold on to it uh, during the off season, in which I will give it to the next the freshman legislator uh, during the 2020 session. All right. I passed two bills this year. The first one was a firefighter phone bill. Um, the firefighter phone that they use in order for fuel fires, uh, specifically for like tankers or for um, airline crashes, things like that. Um, the fuel is toxic to the environment. Um, so we just limited the testing um, of, the, of the foam. So during, during testing, they cannot use the foam unless they are able to contain um, and, and remove and destroy the, uh, uh, the toxins from the, from the environment. Um, the second bill that I passed was related to um, campaign disclosures. Um, it added some transparency to, uh, to elected officials. It also fixed a loophole um, that PACs had um, if they donated to an election, uh, an election official uh, or someone who's elected um, after uh, the second half of the year. So if they, if they had donated and they didn't report it um, and the elected official didn't report it, then there was, you would never know um, that they received it. So we fixed that loophole. Also happy to, to, to get out of the House. And while I didn't pass the Senate, House Bill 149, it was the motor vehicles bill. Uh, that bill included things like digital license plates and three-wheeled auto cycles. It included many other manufacturers' bills. And what does that mean to the state of Georgia? There are several, when something's not in our code or something's too restrictive on a business, it may be a regulation that's too burdensome. Uh, as a conservative, I try to go out there and I try to cut regulation. And I think uh, Governor Kemp and, uh, and the rest of the team is, is, is on board with trying to cut that regulation back. Again, while it didn't pass the Senate, uh, it did pass out of the House. I was happy to do it. And, uh, and I think that's uh, one, one of the most fun things I've done so far this year, cut some regulation. Uh, I think CON is going to be a big one yeah, um, probably so next year. Um, this year we passed a bill to, to add some transparency to nonprofit hospitals. Um, we're looking to see that information and come through and, and ultimately uh, we want Georgia to have the best hospital system and the best health care system uh, in all the nation. And I believe that this is going to, uh, ultimately, these changes that we're making is, is going to get us there. Um, and uh, I'm sure that we'll address that again next year and, and probably several years after that. Another big bill that I think got left on the table this year in 2019 that we'll see again in 2020 will be the airport takeover. Um, the House offered up a version that would uh, give us oversight, will give us subpoena powers, and gives the... Uh, gives the Attorney General some, some powers to, to go in and take a look at, at the airport. The Senate version was more of a state takeover. Uh, I think that they're going to try to find a compromise in the offseason and bring another bill forward. Um, I think it's an important measure. It's uh, the largest economic engine in our state, and we need to make sure that, uh, that it's, it, it works for all Georgians. Well, you can obviously email me at joseph.gullet at house.ga.gov. And you can email me at martin.moptahan at house.ga.gov. Uh, we have a shared suite, and so our, our office number is 404-656-0177. Just want to thank uh, each and every one of my constituents. Uh, honored to serve and, and to uh, humble to be able to represent you at the state capitol. Uh, those folks that are in my district, House District 17, on the western part of Paulding County. Yep, and I, I, I say the same. I appreciate uh, and I'm humbled uh, to serve you in House District 19, which is the eastern and northern part of Paulding County. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions uh, for either of us, please let us know. Reach out, uh, and we're happy to help you any way we can. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, bye-bye.